I'm willing to do the hard shit that most people aren't willing to do. And so the idea of having a slight edge is like you figure out what you can do that will give you a little bit of an advantage on the competition and then you do that every single day. This was fucking nasty. So um, I'm watching Christian Guzman's vlogs right now. So I, I could like go back to his old shit. But I tried to put um, cinnamon in the foam because like I've got like a little latte frother. I put like the almond milk and then I tried to put cinnamon in it because I was like, oh, maybe a cinnamon latte. It's fucking disgusting. Like, I regret. I ruined my cup of coffee. Fuck. Sometimes you just take a risk and you just... doesn't go your way. <laughs> Fuck. Is the coffee good? No, the coffee tastes like ass too. That's unfortunate. Um, all right, guys, what's going on? It is 4.07. Um, I've already taken my 7,000 steps, so I walked down the hill, up the hill by my house. So we're at 7,000 steps, got 20,000 for the day, including my cardio. So that'll be good. This is the eight days out vlog. We're eight days out. And honestly, I contemplated skipping the gym today because... My shoulder's kind of bugging me, so I gotta be really careful with like what exercises I do. And I just finished up two back-to-back -back half days with my clients, so I was like, you know what? Like, you get to sleep in today, right? But lately I've been trying to operate from my core values, and you know, if I pull up my core values, um, one of the things that I wrote down is that we do what we say we're gonna do, no matter what we said we're gonna do, and no matter what, so it's like, I don't want to do the gym this morning, but I said I was going to do it. So I'm going to do it no matter what. Another one of the things that I've got written down as a core value is that we're outcome driven, meaning that we're willing to do whatever the fuck is necessary to get the outcome that we want. And so the goal is to win the show. Going to the gym will help me do that. So we're going to go hit the last workout of this week before we enter peak week. So sit back, relax, enjoy the episode. Let's go. I'm not the type of person that can just do a show and just enter. Like, I'm the type of person that if I'm going to do something, I'm going to be the very best. And I'm coming for overall champion at their summer shredding 2023, August 19th. Pre-workout time. The benefit of my coffee not working. It's like, I usually do one or the other. It's either pre-workout or coffee. I don't do both because, like, like, when I do both in the morning, like, by the time I get to the gym, I'm just, like, my stomach's just fucked. So coffee or pre-workout. So the benefit of my coffee being fucked is that I get to take some pre-workout. So that's not bad. Wow, oh, this music is absolutely fucking horrible. Usually I wouldn't care, but I'm not gonna make my members suffer this horrible shit. Shoulders are super tight, so I'm doing my best to warm them up before I actually do any working sets. I need to make sure I'm super cautious with it, and I got one week left, so once I start eating more calories, I'll be able to take it a little bit lighter. But right now, we gotta grind it out. Just need to make sure we know our limits. Eight more days. I can do anything for eight days, including finishing this fucking prep. These are the workouts that actually count. It's like, when you don't want to go to the gym, can you get yourself to go and actually push that extra mile while you're there? It's like, my definition of motivation is like, you don't wanna do the thing and you do the thing anyways, that's motivation. And so, I didn't wanna be at the gym this morning and that's why I'm like pushing that extra 10%, like I'm going for that extra rep. Fucking getting lean, dog. I'm really excited checking with Alex today. I uh, want to let you guys know that the Iron Energy Gym 
it's gonna be seeing some massive improvements in the offseason. Thinking about putting turning this room into a dumbbell area. And I wanna buy new dumbbells. I wanna also like finish off the wall decals. There's still a wall over there that's like all black. Yeah, so I wanna finish off the wall decals. I wanna get the TVs going. So like August, September is gonna be like the rebuild of Iron Energy. Like we're gonna be doing some more stuff to the gym. So I just wanna keep progressing and keep advancing. Like when I took over this gym with Cole, I made a commitment this is gonna be the best gym in Western Canada. And we're slowly getting there. Like there's a lot of people that come to the gym that have a lot of really good things to say. But I wanna make sure that we continue to progress and continue to advance. So it's gonna be some major improvements coming in the off season. Telling you. Telling you. For those of you guys that watch the channel and you're like, why the fuck would this dude get up at 2.30 in the morning? Because I know that nobody else is willing to do it. You know, like I know that nobody else is willing to wake up at that time. And you might think that's insane and you might think that's crazy. But if you want to be fucking remarkable, like you want people to talk about you, you need to be willing to do shit differently. And 31 years old, I own a 20,000 square foot gym, 6,500 square foot house, my Lamborghini's outside making millions of dollars a year. You know, the reason that I was able to ascend to this level this young is because I'm willing to do that shit. Like I'm willing to get up at 2.30 in the morning. I'm willing to do the hard shit that most people aren't willing to do. And so the idea of having a slight edge is like you figure out what you can do that will give you a little bit of an advantage on the competition and then you do that every single day. And over time, those like small micro things that you're doing on a daily basis will add up and compound. And that's just what's happened with my life, you know? So the slight edge is just being willing to do just a little bit more, just being willing to push just a little bit harder, just being willing to do one more thing that's gonna give you a, a slight advantage over everybody else. So, for the shoulder workout, I've done presses for compound, and then I did uh, shrugs for traps. I did side delts, now I'm gonna do rear delts. I'm doing four exercises, four sets per exercise. That includes, so I'm doing four bicep exercises, four tricep exercises, four shoulder exercises, and I'm doing uh, four sets of each. So, 16 sets per body part. Usually I do 20, but as you get closer to the show, taper down the volume just a little bit lower calories. <sighs> Done. That's it for the workout. Check the time, see how many, see how long we worked up for. Ow, fuck. That sucked. 58 minutes, 59 seconds. Usually, if I'm not on prep, my workouts are, my head hurts, that hurt. Usually if I'm not on prep, it's like an hour and 15, but on prep, as it get closer, the workouts get a little bit shorter. Now usually, I would do posing after my cardio, but since you guys are here, I'm gonna do posing first, because I still got a shoulders and arms pump, so I'm gonna do posing for five minutes, and then I'm gonna do my cardio. Posing is just like stretching. Those things, it's really easy to do and really easy not to do. You just literally have to do it right after your workout, no excuses. I got my timer right there, I'm just gonna do it for five minutes and then I'm done. So you gotta do it every day. There's no point doing a show if you're not gonna present your very best. And so I post for five minutes every day, no matter what. All right, so, all right guys. I'm trying to really work on my obliques right here. So I'm gonna be doing some cardio and also some abs. Working on these bad boys. I'm trying to get these cuts when I turn to the side. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some ropes. Then we're gonna do some side planks, side plank crunches. And then we're gonna do some step ups. I do not wanna do this. That's okay. Because we do what we say we're gonna do even when we don't want to do it. And Jax, we do the hard shit and we love it. Ah. Fuck that. I hate it. Ah. But this is the last 
round of the week before peak week. And then I check him out. So this next set is for the title. This next set is for fucking Tokyo. This next set is dedicated to the last 15 minutes that I've been grinding. He's fucking ass off his track. So. Done. That was the last workout for peak week. And now I've got my check in with Alex Toplin. I'm honestly excited. I think he's gonna love the check in. I've been grinding. I'm down two pounds, so it's actually a pound and a half. So let's see what he says. I'm excited. Alright, y'all. We are heading out of here. Um, my brain's not working. Gas station, home, check in, wait for Alex's response. You look fantastic. I love you. Oh, thanks, babe. I love you. Mwah. I see you at home. See you later. You can take the boy out of forest lawn, but you can't take the forest lawn out of the boy. Cat got. Wow, words. Gas station coffee is the best. I don't know why I can't form a sentence right now. Damn. It's like gas station coffee. Can't even fucking speak but I don't actually drink it from the gas station. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this home, I'm gonna add some stevia to it and a little bit of almond milk froth and then we're gonna rock and roll. Got a nice big old coffee. I'm gonna check in with Alex now. Two things. So step number one is to get the progress photos done. And then I do, I'm gonna send them to Alex right now. Uh, so I'm gonna send them to myself first. Bro, what's up? So, wow, so cool. Uh, we fucking did it, we're on peak peak now. What the fuck, <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so weight update, I honestly, like my weight went up one day this week and I think it's because I was having a hard time uh, going to the washroom. Like I feel like anytime I get close to the show, my digestion kind of goes to shit. So um, that being said, my I did hit a low weight this week. It's 193.1, which is sick. Stress levels this week was, I felt like my body, like mentally, my stress was like low. Like I'm like doing like epsom salt baths, getting massages, but I know my body's under a lot of stress because like I'm having a hard time digesting. So that was that. Strength this week was actually pretty decent, which was cool. Adherence to this point, the, this, the plan this week was a 10. Do you have any questions? Not really, bro. I'm just like, I'm ready. Like I feel like I had a, like a little bit of work in terms of like the, like my business that I had to finish, but now it's like, I literally fly to Toronto on Sunday. So uh, I'm all in. I'm just curious what's next. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, What's next? <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I'm feeling really excited. Feel good about my posing. Feel good about my photos. I'm ready to take it, bro. So you let me know what I need to do and I'm gonna do it. Let's execute. So we always do check-in photos and check-in videos. So I send him, he's like fast with his response too. So we should be able to get his response right away to you guys, which would be sick. So scent, I'm actually, I wanna fucking eat really fucking bad, but I'd rather just wait until he tells me what he thinks I should do. So I'm gonna plug in my headphones for the next hour and I'm gonna grind it out, I'm gonna work. And uh, as soon as I get a response from Alex, you'll be hearing from me. All right, y'all, in an anticlimactic end to this vlog for eight days out, Alex Toplin has not responded to my check-in yet. I've watched his YouTube and I found out that he's doing a fitness competition, so I might not get a check-in until tomorrow or the next day. We'll see, but uh, so for now, the macros stay the same. Your boy's just gonna chill. I got. Um, Couple meetings today. Other than that, like I'm done all my main responsibilities. I've got a marketing meeting with my team, and then I'm just literally gonna chill. So, we're at 14,000 steps. We've got another 6,000. We're gonna eat my third meal and chill out. So, that's it. That's all for the day A vlog. I will see you tomorrow for seven days out. Let's go.